guys, today I am reviewing Timekeeper by Tara Sim. I received this book through NetGalley in exchange for an honest review, so this is what you're gonna get. Timekeeper is the first book in a YA fantasy trilogy, but do not fear if you don't like to commit to a full series. I think this book can be read as a standalone. There is a kind of teaser at the end that definitely, if you enjoyed the book, makes you want to read on. But I think that the story in this one is definitely closed and you can read this as a standalone. So if you don't want to commit, you could still check out this book. Timekeeper takes place in an alternate Victorian era London that is run by clock towers and in the middle of the whole story we find our protagonist Danny who is a clock mechanic and we kind of just follow his life, his family life, his love life and as you know if I talk about my synopsis I really don't want to go into detail. If you want to know more I'm definitely gonna leave a link to the author's homepage, the author's Twitter, the Goodreads page of the book down below so you can check out more of this but I feel like if you're not hooked at a Victorian era London run by clock towers. I don't know what you're doing. Our main character is openly gay and over the story we have another male character that falls in love with a male. It is not clear how this person identifies. It might just be that the person does not identify or feel like any you know, sexuality whatsoever, because they also don't really understand the concept of sexuality, I think. He does talk about fancying a girl in the past, but I obviously don't want to label a character that maybe doesn't want to be labeled or that is not sure. This book was one of my most anticipated releases of 2016 and I, once again I was just so excited I was able to you know review this and read this early thanks to NetGalley. I have had really good luck with like my most anticipated releases on NetGalley not only with you know being able to review them but also with enjoying these and I'm so happy to say that Timekeeper was absolutely the same. I loved this so much. I gave it five out of five stars. Always like to throw that out there because I feel like the more I like a book the harder it is for me to be like objective about it. I'm trying my best to you know just kind of tell you why I fell in love with this book. So I was definitely most excited about the world building and I actually wanted that aspect to kind of be the most prominent. I kind of wanted to find out about this world and to really read a lot about it. But actually, while the world building was kind of important and there was a whole mythology around this world, it was actually not the main part of the story, which I loved because this went into a direction that I had not expected before, which was a kind of romancy direction, which that's one of my favorite directions for books to go into. So I definitely enjoyed that quite a lot. I still I think, as I said, the world is well done. I don't think there's anything missing of it. And I think the simple and easy way that it is built is definitely enough for this story. I feel like it is very easy to understand, but also the mythology behind it is kind of something that really makes you kind of think more about the world. You can see that there is more to explore, especially about the history of this world, but it's not something that, you know, is missing because it's not the main point of the story. I just really liked the kind of very basic idea of the world and I think that was definitely well done. Overall this book is just really mostly about different characters in the stories and love. I'm not only talking about a romantic love. There's also friendships and also you know like families and it's just kind of about the characters and what they would do to protect the people that they love and I just really enjoyed the different aspects of it and how different characters dealt with it. Our main character is just someone that we see in a very interesting family dynamic and I just really enjoyed reading from his perspective and read about his everyday life, his struggles in family and work. I wouldn't really say he is a very likable character, quite honestly. He can be a bit annoying, but that's kind of, on the other hand, what makes him likable again. I don't know. But I definitely enjoyed reading from his perspective and kind of the different things he went through. And then we have other characters that, you know, kind of act in a not so good way out of love. We have other characters that act out of love and don't realize they are doing things that hurt other people. It's just really interesting how basically this whole book is about love but in so many different ways and that was kind of just for me the main part of the story. Like we had friendship, we had romantic love, we had family and I just really really enjoyed that. This was like the deeper level of the story that you could kind of explore and it was so so enjoyable to me. I think this is a book that almost everyone could enjoy. It has action in it, it has the kind of 
family life and family dynamics in it. It has romance in it. It has the kind of fantasy world building in it. From what I've said, you couldn't really gather, but there is definitely a lot of action in it. There is some mystery in it. And we, throughout the story, try to find out who is trying to destroy clock towers. So there's a lot more action going on than you would actually think from what I've just said. It's not like a complete romance novel. There is a lot going on throughout the story. I honestly never wanted to put it down because there was always something going on and I always wanted to know where the story is going. Yeah, there's just so many aspects to the story and I personally love the book on so many different levels. I loved it for the action and the mystery, but I also loved it for the romance and just for the world building Building and the mythology behind it so I'm just overwhelmed with feelings I just don't know but I would highly highly recommend this I know the synopsis on Goodreads says for fans of Cassandra Clare and Victoria Schwab and I think this definitely fits perfectly I think if you enjoy both of these authors you would definitely enjoy this book I just think it is a really really great book and so unique I mean a world that is run by clock towers that's just amazing and I just love the idea I cannot wait to see where Tara Sim takes us with this story but as I said if you want to read it as a standalone I think it is possible I honestly don't know what else to say if you have any questions about the book or anything else you want to know you can definitely write me in the comments let me know if you want to read the book or if you have already read it let me know your thoughts and opinions on this and thank you so so much for watching and i guess i'll see you soon